Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be looking again at the uh, upcoming cold and snowy spell. And it actually looks now that we could see a couple of periods of significant snow across uh, both the south and the north, uh, and even the middle of the UK in the coming weeks. So overall this should be a pretty interesting video. We'll break down a few of the different snow risks, uh, when, where, how much, that kind of thing. Uh, but we'll start off now by looking at the satellite imagery. Um, I showed you this uh, yesterday, and I was talking about how the you could see the showers starting to form. And now notice, this is kind of our weak uh, cold front. That's our low. Uh, and you can see clearly here where that cold air is uh, like that, because we've got these really big, heavy showers. You can see kind of the clouds exploding like that. It's actually really beautiful to watch. And you can see properly big kind of convection going on there. And that's basically all falling as sleet, snow, and hail across kind of the northern half of the UK and that kind of is just showing where our instability associated with the cold air is and then of course now that's moving south behind our front like that uh, and then our first area to watch uh, which I'll talk about in a, just a second but you can see our first area to watch for snowfall which is going to be tonight uh, and tomorrow morning is likely going to emerge over this area in the next few hours or so. If we go to the weather radar, you can see similar things here. Uh, a lot of heavy, persistent snow showers uh, going on across the northern half of Scotland. I said, I think, yesterday that I do genuinely think that the northern half, kind of the north Scottish coast, is probably going to get buried by the end of this week, 10, 20 centimetres, possibly more. And as you can see, just those really heavy showers. Uh, I mean, even some of those kind of red colours showing up there. And especially when you get that snow, it's like the torrential snow falling. So a lot of kind of excitement there. Uh, and then further south, we've got this kind of band of kind of weak drizzle and rain. And you can see something a bit kind of uh, heavier here. And that's going to be our potential first um, a kind of look, first threat of snow. And that just leads me into what we're going to look at right here, which is the weather warnings. We've currently got a big warning uh, across most of northern Scotland and down uh, along the east coast. That's all day today and that's going to be for snow showers, 5 to 10 centimetres in places, even 2 to 5 centimetres across lower levels. We've got another snow warning across northern Ireland, 1 to 2 centimetres in spots, especially over higher ground. And then, uh, so those are kind of, I just covered those, we've got those snow showers piling in from the north there. And then the air I'm about to talk about. This is across kind of South Wales, the Midlands and Southern and Eastern England. This is kind of the more conditional threat. Comes in uh, into force at 9 o'clock tonight and then <clears throat> it goes out of force at 10 a.m. tomorrow. As you can see, we're looking at a band of rain edging southwards through the course of this evening and early tomorrow morning. And that's going to turn to snow initially over hills. Perhaps we could see this turning to snow over the lower ground on the back side. And most areas probably not going to see much snow at all, but one to two centimetres possible in spots, uh, especially over the southern half of the warning area and high ground. And then that's going to clear uh, kind of the warning area uh, kind of by the afternoon. However, there's a quite a lot of uncertainty with all that. I'll start off with showing you a high resolution model here. This is one possible solution, and this is the French Aro model. It's usually fairly good, and you can see here colours, precipitation, purple snow, and this is kind of for now. You see we get this blob of um, precipitation, and we kind of have a weak cold front like that. And then interestingly, kind of this front kind of gains energy. And then what happens is we get that turning to purple colours and actually bringing a coating of snow on the backside and that's early on Tuesday morning before it exits like that. And if that were to happen, that would bring kind of a dusting to one centimetre of snow in this kind of general region. And I was kind of just looking at the what the model was showing, which is kind of this area of kind of energy, enhanced energy along the cold front. And actually that looks fairly similar to what we've got right now across uh, kind of the Irish uh, Sea. We've got this kind of area of, sorry, let me just get this pen out, kind of kind of enhanced precipitation. And that could be kind of a small area of extra spin or what's kind of the fancy word is called vorticity. And that's po possibly could be what we're going to look out for in the next few hours, um, though it's not kind of confirmed. I would kind of want to be seeing a bit of kind of spin in this, but not, not too much. It's kind of evident 
right now. But we'll have to keep an eye on the radar. So that's one possible solution. Another possible solution is what the UKV model was showing. And that's actually, we kind of get this front, the precipitation is weaker, but it kind of lingers a bit longer. And actually on this particular model, by the afternoon, we still had snow across parts of uh, the far south coast. And this brought a very kind of small dusting there. So really, even though it's less than 24 hours away, even 12 hours away, we actually have quite a lot of uncertainty about what's going to happen. But I think the best bet at this time would probably be that we get this area of snow, oh, sorry, sorry, this area, so we've got our kind of front here, it's a relatively weak front, and then we get this area of kind of extra energy emerging somewhere from this zone, and then probably I think it's gonna make a track somewhere like that. So it ends up relatively similar to this model here. So I think by tomorrow morning, areas of the Midlands, high ground of Wales, and then Midlands, and possibly I reckon a bit further south, uh, kind of just this region as well. Let me draw um, on kind of the zone. I think this region could see a dusting of snow tomorrow morning. That's the first threat that we're looking at there. Kind of already getting into too much detail and it's quite early on there's a lot to talk about really uh, so that's the first threat out of the way then tuesday same warnings in force the snow warning is going to get uh it gets extended more and actually we're going to see a lot of snow a seriously large amount across northern scotland uh parts of northeast scotland and potentially the east coast as well i mean those showers just continually kind of piling on oops kind of skipped ahead there but you can just see those showers non-stop essentially across the region if i show you some of the possible accumulations from different models this is a french model uh showing as much as actually let's zoom into scotland here showing as much as kind of 20 30 centimeters across this zone by wednesday the icon model showing a bit less uh, that does not seem realistic at all to me uh the european showing kind of 10 15 centimeters canadian model I think that's unrealistic as well. I think this has probably got the best handle of it, and we're likely going to see 20 centimeters kind of these just from these non stop showers pushing in like that. Uh, so that's kind of the second or slash kind of third main area. Then our attention really turns to Wednesday across the south. Still have those showers, non stop threat for that. But then look, we've got a new warning. This is a second warning for the south. Southwest England, South Wales, kind of southern central England and areas just to the south of London. That's valid during uh, all day on Wednesday. Uh, and let's look at the description. You can see a spell of snow reaching parts of southwest England later on Tuesday evening. Will then spread north during the early hours of Wednesday before clearing away eastwards during Wednesday daytime. Uh, one to two centimetres kind of widely. And then higher ground could see five to ten centimetres. And... It's kind of worth stressing, this is very, very uncertain. Look how the on the kind of impact matrix, uh, we've got a very low likelihood, but a medium impact, which basically means this event could potentially be fairly significant in terms of snowfall. We could be looking at quite a lot of disruption, fairly significant amounts of snow, but we just don't really know what's going to happen in exactly when, where, and how much. We do no, with a relatively good chance and i definitely think that this zone here has got more kind of like 70 to 80 percent chance of seeing snow but those specifics are uncertain and i'll get into that a bit now first let's move this over england and wales that's our interesting zone we'll start off with this french model here and notice actually let me just give a quick overview here uh, maps and charts, surface pressure chart so you can see here this is our first surface pressure chart kind of gives you an overview and what's really interesting uh, and what you can see here is that we have a really, really elongated kind of zone of a low pressure uh, and associated fronts. You can see we've got that warm front, a couple of occluded fronts extending all the way to the south of uh, Britain. And you can see that they kind of move um, in this direction. So you can see the movement is parallel to the front. And in weather, that's really significant because it means that you can, if you just kind of think about it, it means you often get a lot of accumulation, whether that's rain or snow. But if I move that through, you can see those fronts kind of drift to the south, don't really push into the UK until Thursday, but that's kind of, kind of a separate issue for now. We're looking at Wednesday. But on the northern side, what we're likely to see is precipitation and likely snow because we've got cold air on the northern edge. So that's kind of the background. If I show you some of the models, 
this is the high resolution, or not high resolution, high resolution, sorry, kind of the medium resolution French model. You can see there's our precipitation from the front, bumps into the southern half of the UK uh, early morning on Wednesday. Quite widely we get snowfall, uh, kind of areas along and south of the M4 corridor in particular, and then by kind of lunchtime it's cleared before we potentially, oops, sorry I don't know what I just did there, uh, before we potentially see another area of snow. If that were to happen, we'd be looking at kind of 5 to 10 centimetres, or kind of 1 to 5 centimetres quite widely. Uh, some zones seeing 10 to 15, high ground 20 centimetres. That's just one scenario. If I show you the icon model, this is much more conservative. You see here that, that front struggles to get in just as much. You can see that it kind of struggles. And the timing, as opposed to being early Wednesday morning, this is Wednesday evening. But if that were to happen, we'd be looking at 1 to 3 centimetres of snow across the southern half of uh, the UK quite widely. I don't really like to use GFS uh, that much for snow, but just to give you a range, this is another kind of similar s scenario to the other model. That's the snow beginning on Wednesday morning, actually lasting for a fairly long time, a few hours, across the southern half. Uh, and that would bring fairly significantly uh, 1 to 5 centimetres and perhaps more in the southwest. Take a look at the European model, uh, and you can see that also showed a relatively widespread event initially Wednesday morning, and then a second event uh, Wednesday evening as well, and that was fairly large amounts of snow across kind of southern areas. So basically what I'm showing you there is that there's a lot of variability in, number one, when it's going to happen, there's a split between early on Wednesday and evening on Wednesday, or both. Number two, how much. Some are showing it dusting, some like this showing 10 centimetres of snow. And number three uh, is kind of how far north it's getting. And this is the big one kind of for me, because we know there's going to be, or we, we know fairly confidently there's going to be snow across kind of this region in here. Let me just draw out with a pen. We know fairly confidently this region in here is likely going to see snowfall. What the main uncertainty is, is to whether that gets further north into kind of London and a bit further north than that kind of this region, or if that's mainly M4 South kind of thing. So that's the main uncertainty to me at the moment. But the trend, what we like to look at in weather is the trends, and this is the trend on the European model. And you can see, notice how that's been kind of going further north on each run up until now. So I'm inclined to think that the threat for kind of central southern England more widely than just the far south and southwest so this kind of thing I'm starting to believe that we could be seeing a significant threat there potentially one to five centimeters and I do I'm starting to also think this region in here we could potentially see five to ten centimeters that's my current thinking subject to change but if I show you this chart this is from, from where I live, Golders Green in North West London, uh, and this is kind of the bars showing the percentage of different types of precipitation. And notice here, Wednesday during the day, those blues and purples showing increased chance of wet snow and snow. And actually notice there's more than 50% chance of snow, and actually approaching a relatively high chance at this range for uh, snow. So that's my kind of current thinking, and if I show you the uh, one more high resolution model, this is the uh, are the uh, high resolution French model and notice that shows a pretty significant uh, snow event through the south initially early on Wednesday and then perhaps another round during the afternoon and so that's kind of relatively in line with my current thinking perhaps a bit further north and if I show you the average you can see similar thing there a prolonged period of snow possible during Wednesday perhaps a second round in the afternoon that's Wednesday out of the way really in depth and kind of a bit complex and then the most significant overall threat, I think, is Thursday, Friday. We've got a very large warning out. All of Northern Ireland, most of Scotland, Northern Wales, Northern Midlands, and most of, well, you know, all of Northern England, away from the coasts. And if I show you that there, initially valid from Thursday a.m., uh, 3 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Friday, so a very long time. Uh, and then also, this is quite a significant dis discussion, snow could develop quite widely across the warning area on Thursday, Friday. Possibly quite deep area of low moves across the UK, Northern Ireland. So those are kind of the areas to see the worst of conditions. Five to ten centimeters widely, fifteen to ten cent, 50, sorry, fifteen to twenty centimeters across northern areas of the water, uh, sorry, northern areas of the warning area, even quite widely, and possibly thirty to forty centimeters in places. 
So that's really quite significant. And if I show you this, very low likelihood, yes, but high impact. And that means, in the long run, I wouldn't be surprised to see upgrades to amber and possibly red warnings uh, kind of come Thursday, Friday. And if I show you some of the potential uh, model kind of scenarios, just to give you an idea of the magnitude of the event we could be seeing, this is ECMWF here. This particular model was showing blizzard conditions 20 to 30 centimetres widely across Scotland and Northern England. Probably overdone, but I mean, if it were to happen, it would be pretty significant here. If I show you the GFS model, you can see relatively similar thing. Initially kind of the Midlands, but then moves kind of further north. And then northern areas of the warning area seeing prolonged blizzard and snow, kind of heavy snow conditions. 5, 10, 15 centimetres there. Uh, if we look at kind of the RPEG model, another pretty crazy one. Uh, this precipitation type a bit more mixed, uh, but still widely heavy snow and blizzard conditions, bringing up as much as 40, 30, 40 centimetres over high ground. If I show you the icon model, the most conservative at this stage, uh, as you can see there, but you can see still significant snow, except this is further north. A bit of an outlier at this stage, so I'm not too trustworthy of that. But if I show you the final thing before we end off this video, uh, if I show you the UKV model, that was also showing significant snow quite widely, across the um, northern half of the UK and astoundingly 20-30 centimetres widely across Northern Ireland and 40-50 centimetres widely across um, parts of northeast Scotland. So there's quite a lot of uncertainty at this stage but the potential ceiling is very very high and like I said it's really worth watching because I would not be surprised to see this upgraded to amber and potentially red warnings in the future. So that one's kind of longer range, just a brief look. Uh, and then other areas, like I said earlier, I explained the tonight's threat, continued showers threat, and then Wednesday potentially for the south. Anyways, that was a really in-depth video. I hope everyone enjoyed. Uh, thank you so much for watching if you're still at this stage, and bye.